Look around a forest bursting with life. Birds chirping, ants marching, mushrooms sprouting under fallen logs and trees swaying above. What makes this forest so rich, so alive? That's biodiversity. It comes from two words, bio meaning life and diversity meaning variety. Biodiversity is the variety of all living things, plants, animals, fungi, and even microorganisms like bacteria, plus the genes they carry and the ecosystems they form. Biodiversity has three main components. Genetic diversity, species richness, ecosystem diversity. Let's break them down. Genetic diversity is the variety of genes found within a species. Think of it like nature's survival kit, a wide collection of traits that helps a species deal with changes in its environment. Let's say there's a sudden disease outbreak, a drought, or a temperature shift. If every individual in a species were genetically identical, they'd all react the same way. If the conditions are harmful, the entire population could be wiped out. But with genetic diversity, not everyone is equally vulnerable. Some individuals may carry genes that make them more resistant to disease, better at conserving water, or more capable of finding food in tough conditions. Those individuals survive, reproduce, and pass on those helpful traits, keeping the population alive and adapting over time. In a forest, not all squirrels are the same. Some may have sharper eyesight that helps them spot predators more quickly. Others may be better at storing food or blending into their surroundings with slightly different fur colors. These differences, shaped by their genes, increase the chances that at least some will survive when danger strikes. Likewise, in the same forest, some trees may be genetically better at resisting certain pests or diseases. So while a blight might kill some trees, others survive and help the forest recover. This built-in variation is what keeps species resilient, evolving and able to face future challenges. Without it, species are fragile, like a house of cards waiting to fall. So when we protect genetic diversity, we're really protecting the long-term health and survival of life on Earth. Next, we explore species richness. Species richness is the number of different species living in a particular area. Why is that important? Because more species means more connections in the food web. Each species plays a role. Some are pollinators, some are predators, some are decomposers, and some are prey. These roles create a network of life where everything is connected. When an area has high species richness, it becomes more stable and more productive. If one species disappears because of disease, climate change, or human activity, others can often fill the gap. That means the ecosystem can keep functioning without collapsing. Imagine a forest with many different insect species. If one type of bee goes extinct, there might still be butterflies or beetles that pollinate the flowers. If one bird species that feeds on worms vanishes, another bird might take its place in the food chain. This backup system only works if the forest is rich in species. Without that richness, a single loss can ripple through the system. Plants don't get pollinated, animals lose their food source, and the whole ecosystem becomes weaker. So the more species an area has, the more resilient and balanced it becomes. Now let's dive into ecosystem diversity. Ecosystem diversity is the variety of ecosystems found across a region, or even across the whole planet. Ecosystems are like unique living worlds, each with its own climate, soil, water, and living organisms. Think of forests, wetlands, grasslands, deserts, coral reefs, oceans, and even mountaintops. Each ecosystem creates a special environment where certain species can thrive. 
Some animals and plants are perfectly adapted to live in salty oceans, while others need the damp, shaded ground of a rainforest. So the more types of ecosystems we have, the more kinds of species can exist. More ecosystems, has more habitats, has more biodiversity. But it's not just about variety, it's also about what these ecosystems do for us and the planet. They regulate the climate. They clean our water. They produce oxygen. They grow our food. They provide medicine for our diseases. They provide homes for pollinators that keep our crops alive. They reduce the risk of floods, storms, and pandemics by keeping nature in balance. Take a forest ecosystem. It's not just trees and animals. It's a complex web of owls hunting at night, wolves managing prey populations, fungi and mushrooms breaking down dead wood, mosses capturing moisture, and millions of invisible microbes in the soil recycling nutrients. Each layer of this ecosystem, from the canopy to the forest floor, works together to keep the system balanced and productive. If we only had one type of ecosystem on Earth, we'd lose most of the planet's life forms and most of the services that keep humans alive, too. So protecting ecosystem diversity is about keeping Earth's natural systems running across deserts, rainforests, coral reefs, and beyond. To sum up, biodiversity is the variety of life on Earth, including all plants, animals, and microorganisms, the genes they contain, and the ecosystems they form. The three main components of biodiversity are genetic diversity, species richness, and ecosystem diversity. Genetic diversity is the variation of genes within a species. Example, squirrels can have different fur colors, sizes, or resistance to disease due to genetic differences. Species richness is the number of different species in a given area. Example, a rainforest with hundreds of bird, insect, and plant species shows high species richness. Ecosystem diversity refers to the variety of ecosystems in a region. Example, forests, deserts, wetlands, and coral reefs are different ecosystems within one country. Let's test your eye for biodiversity. Look at these picture pairs. Which one shows higher biodiversity? The second picture has higher biodiversity because it includes a variety of plant and animal life living together in one ecosystem. Which one shows higher biodiversity? The second river shows higher biodiversity because it supports many species across different groups, amphibians, insects, birds, and plants, all interacting in the same ecosystem. Which one shows higher biodiversity? The second garden clearly has more biodiversity because it includes multiple plant species, pollinators, and soil organisms working together to support a healthy environment. Biodiversity is life in all its forms. Protecting it means protecting our future.